Puppy switch up. A local family says they were expecting a Rottweiler puppy, but were sold a different dog from a completely different breeder. Our Charlie DeMar is always investigating and continues to expose a suburban dog breeder accused of ripping families off. The story doesn't end there. If getting the wrong dog wasn't bad enough, the family says this story takes what they call a creepy turn involving their young daughter's photos. The dispute now in court. We were stepping out of one tragedy into another one. It wasn't what I had bargained for. Losing Dutch, a four-year-old Doberman to cancer, was tragedy number one for Fonzel Pasquale and her family. Sit. Lay down. Gia took it the hardest. Gia was holding on to that um, hope of having a new puppy in our house to kind of get her through this really dark time that we were having over the loss of our dog. They were soon sold on a new puppy from Chandra Clem. Hi! Of Rodsden Rottweilers. Her grandmother has had a clean name in the business since the 40s. She sent us pictures and updates. The puppy with the green collar, later named Lucky, was supposed to come from a breeder in California. She told me at the time she didn't have puppies but she had a good friend in California um, who also bred Rottweilers. But when it was finally time to make this family whole again with a new Rottweiler. It came and went, no Chandra. Chandra took the money, no problem. Days later, Pasquale says Clem finally showed up with a puppy. The puppy that she brought was not the puppy from the photos. Not only in his size, but the puppy looked different than the puppy in the pictures. He was way different. A vet agreed that Lucky was smaller than advertised, diagnosing him with a heart murmur and knee problems documented here. Proof of medical issues that Chandra claims she never received. She still owes us a lot of money and is still an ongoing litigation. As for that dog breeder and so called friend of Clem's in California, they say Lucky didn't come from them. So where did Chandra get the dog sold to Pasquale? I've cried a lot of tears. Through Facebook, Pasquale connected with Lucky's breeder, but this is where things take a turn. Chandra pretended to be me the whole time, said she was buying it for her 11-year-old daughter. She does not have an 11-year-old daughter. Messages from Chandra to Lucky's actual breeder show Chandra trying to pass off Gia as her own child, sharing photos of the Pasquale's daughter online. So it's very creepy that she pretended to be me and, and sent pictures of my daughter in her bed to some person that I didn't even know. Um, Do you feel violated? Totally violated. Chandra said she delivered on her contract by bringing a dog to Pasquale. Chandra also says she has filed a countersuit against Pasquale. I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.